In this video, we are going to be walking through a step-by-step -step process on how to create a brand design project presentation in Behance using one of the projects I just finished. So stick around and let's get into it. So just before you get started, the first step I'll recommend for Behance presentations is research. So the same way you would do research when you're working on a project, trying to design a logo or a flyer, you should also do some research when it comes to making Behance presentations. So I always start out with a mood board of similar projects within the space I'm trying to work on. So this was a furniture brand called Savalani Furniture. So I just had a mood board of various furniture brands that I love their presentations. So let's look into some of them. So this was the first one called Merazo, and I really loved their intro page with just animated text. And you can scroll through and see how they have some initial descriptions about the challenges they had at the project, the year and all those details. And you can just see the flow of how they highlighted the typography, brand values and use some really, really compelling images and mockups to show the stationary business cards and just everything about the brand, which was really nice to see. Looking at another furniture brand called The Asla. So they started with this really nice uh, page, just showing some demo furniture with a business card. Again, looking at some descriptions of the project, um, the logo on a clean furniture background, some stationary iconography, and just a couple of mockups just to express the brand identity and the visuals. So this just kind of puts me in the right mindset of how I can present my furniture branding project. Now let's look at dimensions. So Behance recommends using a width of 1400 pixels, but doesn't really specify on the height. From my experience, I would recommend using 800 pixels for your height. So that's 1400 by 800. Also make sure you're using a resolution of 300 pixels per inch because Behance presentations are always crisp and you want to maintain quality. Also make sure your artboard checkbox is ticked and you can decide to save this as a template like I did here so you don't need to keep on doing this for all your Behance presentations. So now that our dimensions are set, let's get into the design. So the next step is for you to use a compelling still image to start your project. Now this is my this is the Behance project and I just started with a collection of the project as a whole. Just a scan through. You might go with this approach or you might just decide to showcase the logo alone. Right? Depends on your style of the project. But I highly recommend using a still image and not a GIF or animation for this first page. Because from my experience, Behance isn't going to pick this cover page you have for your project is going to select the first image within the presentation as your thumbnail and if you use an animation it's just going to pick the first frame of the animation which might not really be what you want so i recommend using a still image to start your presentation now next off you can now add an animation and you can see how i applied the similar text effect we saw before just to present my word mark as well so moving on for the copy you can actually write the copy like we've seen within behance but i actually did it in photoshop as we can see here so you can see i have the copy written down about the project the client the industry high quality furniture right so just some minimal copy to introduce the brand showing the old logo and the research which was done so after that intro is now ideal for you to show your process and you can show your process using stylescapes using um, sketches you've done which you can see here so it's always ideal for you to try and tell a story of how you got to your final design right or your final concept Clients always love to see this kind of stuff and it's, I recommend you definitely add it to your project. So after showing your process using sketches, stylescapes, 
you can now begin to introduce the brand showing the main assets you've designed like the logos and other things and this is where motion design comes in so if you're a young designer looking to level up your skills within your career i highly recommend you taking a course in after effects and i'm going to link one which i took within the video description so we can check it out so motion design really helps to level up your portfolio as well so just moving on to showcase how the logo came about in depth from pieces of furniture highly recommend you adding this as well and just any form of details about the concepts you came up with so if you have a grid if you have a word mark which you can just showcase in an interesting way this would be really nice for your portfolio presenting your colors did you reference them from nature was it from particular pieces of furniture or any objects within your project to be really nice for you to showcase this as well using motion design or just in a nice visual way so after introducing all the main brand elements you can now go into the typography and also showcasing the patterns which helps to give you a really nice flow to your project so after introducing the brand and all the key assets you can now go into brand applications using mockups so this is where you just showcase the key mockups for the brand if you have any and you need to make sure that the mockups tie in together so it's not just using random mockups like for example here you have a brochure on a wooden table here you have a sample of a furniture that could be built and that same furniture placing business cards on it and taking a shot and you can see how all the images have good lighting have similar types of shadows and also the colors are accurate so these are details that will be looked at when your portfolio is being scanned so you want to make sure that you are using the right mockups you might also need to create some mockups of your own like for example this guy on t-shirt i had to recolor him and place the logo so you might also experience situations where you have to create your own mockups and not just download mockups so adding relevant mockups can really really strengthen your portfolio and back again to the motion design so if you have motion design skills you could work on a simple launch video which we have here and i'll leave that for the end of this tutorial if you worked on brand guidelines it's also nice for you to showcase it here and switching to photoshop you can see how the brand guideline has just been laid out just a few images just to showcase it within behance and there's kind of like a slight shadow if i turn that off you can see the shadow it just helps to make your project a bit more interesting on behance and just moving on you can conclude with a couple of billboards large mockups posters some motion design concepts again just to bring in more interest as viewers are scrolling down and social medias um, templates for stories stamps um, tapes just generally key items which connect to your project and now remember your behance project is an opportunity for you to showcase your skills it might not just be exactly what you presented to the client this is what you're presenting to other potential clients and fellow designers alike so you want to go all out within your presentations and just to conclude you can conclude with a nice bold image of your logo and just a simple thank you note just thanking viewers who have scrolled to the end which is always nice you could also add project credits and just links where viewers can use to connect with you later in future all right guys so that's the step-by-step -step process on how to build your design projects in behance in a compelling way which will help you win more clients and strengthen your skills as a designer and now i leave you with the launch video for the brand what do you call a brand that delivers nothing but the finest in furniture to its clientele you might say quality but we prefer to be known as savalani savalani furniture is a brand aimed at providing high quality furniture to corporate businesses and private homes across Nigeria. With our fresh logo and revamped visual identity, we are excited 
to serve you with the finest of furniture for your home or office to give it that perfect touch of elegance. Book a session with us today at www.savalani.co High Quality Furniture